Hello, World Wide Web. I'm Dr. Shadow, the entire personality with the best gifts. Merry Christmas! This year, we'll be looking at The Thing with Mistletoes. It's yet another visual novel that may make you feel happy. This one's more of a low-budget, completely free little thing that some people say doesn't exactly work entirely right and a lot of people just generally hate, but a lot of people feel that way about visual novels in general. So, there's my, my mouse. Stop breaking, get the glitching out. You're a mad cat's mouse. I can't get, get calm and fix it anymore. They don't leave, they, they, they stopped existing a while. God damn it. There we go. Something. Terry, it's okay. It's just the thing with mistletoes. Terry, Merry Christmas. God damn it. Mouse, stop fucking going crazy. God I need to fucking. All I gotta do is point the buttons and click. All I gotta do, that's all I gotta do. Let's just begin. Tara, that's not Lumina's voice. It's just gonna be a simple little. Yes, Mom, I promise I'll keep the house tidy. And yes, yeah, I'll take care of Vince. Mom, I know. I know. It'll just be a few days, right? Yeah, sure. Okay, fine, a week, then. But still, I'll be fine, I swear. And yes, I know all about the disappearances. I do watch TV. Loser! Uh, we'll be careful. All right. Thanks, Mom. And don't forget to buy us gifts. Buy us gifts. Buy us gifts. Buy us gifts. Call ended. What the hell? <laughs> I figured you were on the phone, even though we didn't see shit. But at the same time, what phone doesn't go click or doesn't go beep and just goes call ended? I have this strange fascination with mistletoes. Every single year, I obsess about them. Mistletoes. Mm. Like, seriously. And yes, I call them mistletoes and not just mistletoe. I just love them. That's why Christmas is my absolute favorite holiday. Mistletoes everywhere, that's great. Plus, since my parents are going away for a week, ha! I can decorate the place however I want. This is the life. Don't tell me that's Santa breaking in the fucking window again. Damn it, Santa. Jimmy, I know we don't have one, but magic it up or shit, I've seen movies. I watch TV. I can only stare in shock at the broken pieces of glass on the floor. No, Vincent. Oops. Sorry, Lumi. Fucking dick. Dot 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 dot. This is gonna be a long week. Seriously, Vince, you're already ten years old. I know ten year olds are dicks. It's like just being ten. Fuck you. Don't you know how to clean up after yourself yet? But Lumi, I do know how to clean up after myself. I ask you to do it. You just rush me way too much. That's because I'm going nuts with all this mess. All you do is play video games all day, Vince. That's one word. Video games. Like mistletoes. Da da da. Well, at least he's active, Miss. I watch TV. Vince, are you even listening to me? You're way too noisy, Lumi. I can't focus. Can't you be a nice sister and just bake me some cookies? Get back in the kitchen, bitch. What? Vince? I stomp over to the socket and pull out the plug. Joke's on you, it's a Nintendo Switch! He runs away, still playing his game. <laughs> no! This! It's only at the checkpoint in Last Fantasy! That's the, that, that was the best... Not Final Fantasy, come Last Fantasy. Okay. So? Sis, please turn it on!
Doesn't the newer Final Don't the newer Final Fantasy games have like auto saves every five minutes? Later? Wow, so you're only calling me sis when you're asking for something. Aw oh, man! Okay, sis, stop being so hot headed! We need a breath of fresh air. Fresh air. Fresh air? It's freezing outside. Freezing. I hear a mutter under his breath, bitch. You're lucky it barely snows here. What? I said even better to keep your head cool. Come on, just go out and do something. He pushes me out the front door, bidding me a wave goodbye. But you're just gonna play video game. Bye! I can't believe he closed the door in my face! What a dick! That child. Does he kick me out of our. Did he kick me out of our own house? Yes. That's exactly what happened. I grumpily walk away from our house, heading to nowhere in particular. That's just like my favorite fucking cornerstone. One of these days. It's definitely gonna get it. I run my hand through my ruffled hair, setting the tangles free. <laughs> Ow! Someone suddenly pats my head. Hey. I smack my palm against my forehead in annoyance. Oh god, it's just what I needed. Jake Buckley, the neighborhood heartthrob. Why did I have to run into him today? I don't deserve this! Me? Heh, <laughs> never knew you were so into me. What? Excuse me? You may pass. Uh, whatever. Heh, <laughs> don't get too worked up. Don't worry, I'm not. See ya. See ya. See ya? You motherfucking cock. I think it's fairly obvious that I'm not a big fan of Mr. Buckley. I'm like those dozens of neighborhood girls who scream his name whenever he flashes those pearly ones. Whatever, he gets on my nerves. Calm down, Lumina. I guess I'll just visit another friend of mine. Knock, 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 dot, dot, dot. Nothing, actually. I just... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted to visit you. Did Vince kick you out again? Damn. Yeah, something like that, I guess. <laughs> I knew it. He always does. Ugh, you don't need to remind me. Okay, fine. <laughs> eh? Who's... Huh? Who is the... Lumina! Risa? Hi, Lumi! Oh, hi, Riss. You know better than so to be so loud here. Why? What's wrong? You shocked Lan into hiding, that's what. Oh, sorry. Sorry. She smiles sheepishly. I will roll my eyes, playfully hitting her shoulder. <laughs> there, that's my face. It's just a thing with the mistletoe's right? It's not a thing with cats. I say this to all the cat ladies I mean. You know, mistletoe can be deadly to eat. No, 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 you're not supposed to finish that book. You're not supposed to finish that book. Ah. <laughs> uh. Lan, can you come out now? It's only Rissa. Lan just shyly peeks out his big soul fly staring straight at us. Sorry, I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, we know. Anyway, mind coming out now? Sorry. Hmm, to make up for it, would you like to accompany us to go shopping? We're going shopping? I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me we're going shopping? Well, we weren't, but now we are. I will buy some... Mistletoe decors. Uh-huh. I knew it. Ah. I got my hair in my mouth. It's just whipping around. Get it out, get it out. Have you told your parents about it? About my plan to turn her house into a Mr. Garden? <laughs> nope. 
they're currently on a week-long vacation, leaving me with this. So, you know, the house is all mine. And Vince's. Um, yeah, and Vince. But he won't mind, I guess. Come on then. Oh, Lance, will you be okay? I think I'll manage. Risa, Lander's easily surprised, but he's not antisocial, okay? Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's just... Oh, you know. He kind of... Weird. Uh-huh. It's not that we know Lander's a bit... painfully shy. Not to mention that his appearances haven't even been watching TV. I... Can we all know about those? Seriously, it's... Uh, hello, daytime! People disappear on at night. Simple. Let's not go out at night! Right. Okay, okay, but you do realize that we probably go home pretty late. We usually get home late when we go shopping. Guys, come on, nothing will happen. We're about going to the mistletoe store to buy mistletoe and just mistletoe. How much time could we possibly spend? It's a little bit scary just thinking about it, though. I know, but chill! Because there's snowflakes, even though that my little brother said that there's, like, no snow. Hmm, it's worrisome for me. It is, I guess. Especially with Vince around. I have to worry, him, uh, worry about him all the time. Ooh! Never knew Lumino was such a lovely dummy Oh, this is... Ugh, you make it sound disgusting, Reese. Oh, hey! To be honest, the news on TV does scare me a bit. It's his job. The first disappearance happened around two weeks ago. That was around the first week of December. The victim? A little girl. I hate to say this, but little girls are often common prey for predators. So it doesn't raise too much suspicion. Oh yeah, the whole town is just like, ha! Huh, little girl got kidnapped! Oh well, fuck it, that just happens. But when an, an adolescent boy disappeared a few days later, followed by another child's disappearance, that sent the whole town into a panic. Are you sure it didn't, wasn't just the fact that there was three fucking people taken? No, it had to be his penis that everyone was worried about. Gotcha. If I'm not mistaken, there were almost a half dozen disappearances in the past two weeks. So that's sick? Yeah, yeah. Five or six in 14 days. That's a lot of fucking people. To be honest, my parents were really reluctant to leave me and Vince alone, even for just a week. But it's a business thing, really important. At least I managed to convince them to let me handle everything, which I'm feeling it badly. Anyway, it's just for a week. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Ah, damn! Cool! Look at all these awesome Christmas decorations. Awesome! Yeah, that's pretty lovely. The Christmas market is really amazing! I love watching all the pretty lights. It's already nighttime, you fucked up bad. They twinkle the stars above at night, which you clearly can't tell. The snow the smile is shaking it softly, smash breaking him on it. I wonder what it's like to live in a snow globe. It's not, it's dead. You're like, fucking styrofoam falls around you, it's tail. Ow. You know, that shit was loud to begin with. Ah. All of a sudden, something, or someone, bumps into me. Yeah, you yeah. That whole whoops, fucking Jack Septic guy. I fall to the concrete ground in a heap. Dead. Ow. Hey, hey, Lumi. You alright? A hand reaches down to me and I grab it, looking up at the owner. Danny Lawrence. Even the mischievous, ever the mysterious and careless dude. Instead of pulling myself out, I instead pull him down with me, because that's not suggestive at all. <clears throat> what the? 
That's what you get for being so clumsy. He gets to hop on top of you. That's that's one of them. Or you mean like onto the side of it? What do you pull off some MMA shit? Do you know that it wasn't me who bumped into you, don't you? What? I glanced up to, to Risa and Landis. Beside them is a person who nearly is wetting his pants in laughter. Decker's shadow. He is that personality with the best hand. Of course, it's none of them. Gabriel Lauren. Danny Smaller. Albeit naughty. Twin brother. I should have known that it wouldn't have been Danny. Identical twins every time. Oh, great. Sorry, Danny. It's all right. Now I'm done, right? Yeah, but I'm totally wringing that guy's neck. Oh, fuck it, I'll just do your neck. They look similar enough. I push myself up from the ground and tackle Gabriel, who falls down, still laughing his head off. Okay. That's my face. That's my face. <laughs> He's such a small kitty cat. And he's so far down from where the camera is, she's like standing up on her hind legs straight up. <laughs> Just to grab my face. Haha, <laughs> God's Lumina, you're strong. That's what you get for pushing me. He sticks his tongue out as he stands, dusting himself off. They really save money drawing this guy. What are you two goofballs doing here anyway? Daniel raises up the paper bag he was holding. I don't know how to label. Wait, which one's to. I keep your. Okay. So, uh, uh, uh. No, I don't know how to label it. Shopping bags? Nah, that sounds girly. Shopping's kind of like a girl thing. No, it's not. That is for me. <laughs> sigh. You're actually supposed to sigh there, Landis. I don't care. Don't worry, I'm not gonna get a fight with you about shopping. Surely no more than me on that topic. Oh, really? Oh, hey? What the heck do you care? Getting your knickers in a twist, Clarice. <laughs> I don't even wear knickers, Gabriel. It's a... Uh, oh, uh... We went to, sure went to fucking crank this up to 11 first. Next time, update your insults, then what a billion years old. Ha! Let's go down. See you later, guys. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Chris. I said bye, Daniel. Uh, bye. Ha ha ha. Bye, Lumi. Yeah, bye bye, you two. This is. No no one's enjoying this scene. Get out of here. You two, Lumi. Landis, where have you been? I'm back. I was looking at the pretty, pretty snow globes. Da 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 da. It'd be pretty if you bought one for me. Give me your money. Sure. Choose which one you like. Eh? I was kidding you. Ah, uh, but it's really okay. You're so sweet with your money. Da 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 da. Uh, Clarice, you, you, you and Gabby look nice together. What do you think? Risa looks at Landis, fire burning in her eyes. No way, Jose. I'd rather die an old maid than be with that guy. You're way too sensitive about this. No, -uh, I hate his guts. Why? That was pretty nice. Really nice. It seems like a jerk to me. I don't actually know them much, but how can you not know them? You were classmates with them for a few years in grade school. Yeah, we never became close friends with them or anything, right? But I think Land here is a friend of Gabby. Bit. Share a few interests. How sweet. Not. <laughs> you really don't have to be so bitter about it. I really don't like Laurent. <laughs> Danny. Very funny, lad. Danny's fine. She sighs a bit before continuing. It's Gabby I can't stand. Landis and I just laugh. Oh, Risa. 
Why do you have so many different names for everyone? It's getting very confusing. The skies have long turned dark blue by the time the three of us decided to go home. They were black as night in the shop, and black as night here. Dark blue my ass. We said there's a street away from us, so Landis and I walk home together. Da -da 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 -da. Like most people, I find the cold weather soothing. It's because uh, my muscles are sore, Carl. It relaxes me. Finally, we're at our street. I turn to Landis, and we do a fist bump. to Lannis once again, doing our ten-year tradition. Sex! No. A vider shine. That's my face. It's very much my face. Get off my face. That's not the ten-year tradition. Well, okay, it kind of is. That's only like a six-year tradition. And, and... Tear it, tear it, tear it. <laughs> he smiles at me, rolling his eyes. I've been interested in the German language ever since we were children, and Landis has always been so helpful in his studies. He's bowed. I wave goodbye to him as he goes inside his house. We live in, a sm in similar looking buildings, two story brick homes, as with the rest of this neighborhood, all connected. It's really disconcerting. When I enter the house, I immediately feel that something's wrong. Not only is the entire house dark, it's also quiet. Except for this scary music. Too eerily quiet. If you've ever lived with a kid, especially with a ten-year-old boy, you know what I mean. There'll always be some kind of noise, whether it's a TV or video games. And as I walk around on the ground floor, silence greets me. Vince. The only sound that can be heard is the whole house. It's a shuffling of my feet. Oh, Vincey. I feel myself starting to panic. The tension building within my chest. Come on, calm down. It's probably just hiding somewhere, waiting to surprise you. Hey, Vince, come out, come out, wherever you are. Despite the cold, I can feel the sweat forming in my forehead. Vincent Duval, this is not funny anymore. I'm not amused. Nothing. Now I let myself panic now, running up the stairs in a hurry. My heart pounds wildly in my chest. Vince. I grab the doorknob of this room and slam it open, screaming my brother's name. I see the floor trying to stop my tears from falling. Whoever he's hiding is probably having the time of his life right now, knowing that he's just made his bare sister cry. Vincy, I really am not amused. Please, just show up. I sit still for a few moments, waiting. Nothing! Only silence. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I push myself up from the floor, holding my head. I feel a migraine coming in. That's really the important detail right now. This is horrible! What time is it? I'm speaking to myself now, as I usually do when I'm in a panic. 2100 hours? Where in the world would that child be at 2100 hours? For the next half hour. I find myself calling every single friend of Vince that I know! Oh, that's right. It goes to voicemail when I call myself. Hello, this is Lumina Duval. Where's Vince's sister? I was just wondering if... Hi, this is Lumina Duval. I'd like to speak to John about my friend, his younger brother, my, my younger brother, Vincent. Yes, Merry Christmas to you. I took that. This is Lumina Duval. And yes, Vince's sister. No, Vince's not here. And... I'm Lumina Duval, I'm the older sister of your son friend, Vince. I was just wondering if Vince went to your house today. No? Okay, where is he? Exhausted, I lie down on my bed, crying my eyes out. The truth of the matter just hit me right now. Ow! What's this? Vince was kidnapped. Oh, shit. My younger brother has indeed disappeared. This is a report for Vincent Duval, ten years of age. The law here states the person has to be missing for at least 24 to 48 hours to be reported as missing to the police. For a minimum, it's kind of strange they have a range, but, uh... But ever since the disappearances in our town, the authorities have allowed the townsfolk to report even the most minor disappearances, at least to at least prevent the bigger cases. I never thought I'd find myself in a police's office, but... 
I am awfully grateful for that right now. Mrs. Duval, when did you last see your brother? Uh, around ten hours ago. And where did you last see him? In, in our house. I left him playing video games. Last fantasy. He was so close to the save point! And when you returned? The house was all dark and quiet. There was no one there. Have you thought about the possibility that your brother went just went to a friend's house without a condition? Yes, I've thought of that. I've called up his friends to be sure, but... Do you suspect that he was taken away from your home? I don't know. I last saw him in our house. He could have gone out. I don't know. Miss Duval, I'd hate to say this, but even if your brother was kidnapped from your own home, I'm sorry. The chances are slim, slim, slim. He's probably dead, dead, dead. This is all your fault, fault. What chances? The chances that you'll ever see him again. What? No, that's impossible. I made this report because... Not because I think my brother was kidnapped or anything, but because I'm afraid he might be if I didn't bring this to your attention. And do you suspect that he just ran away from home? Dot dot dot. I don't know. No? The officer raises an eyebrow at me. I hope not. Well, that's the case, it is a good thing you called this to our attention immediately. The first few hours of a disappearance is extremely crucial, especially with cases concerning children, children, children. Like your brother, brother. Who you abandoned, Ben. We have to be aware, though, that a ten-year-old isn't a hard prey to catch, most of all. What? Then what about that, that teen boy who disappeared a few weeks ago? That was a teen boy. A teen! And yet... My blood runs cold as I realize what I just said. Exactly. I was already a teen boy, and yet... He still disappeared. And that girl earlier than him... Well, we really didn't give a shit about her. She had the wrong genitalia. The only clue we had was some drops of blood, blood. Oh my god! No way. Are you saying that? It's a hard case. You didn't even have blood, blood. We can search your home for any signs of forced entry, of course. If you think someone intruded into your house. Or better yet, I can tell our head about this so we can launch an investigation on the surrounding area tonight. We might be able to find some leads, but most of them would probably lead to dead ends, which makes means they're not leads. I don't know how to do my job. Tara. What is with you? Why are you after my face? It's my face. I can't believe this guy's negativity! Come on, you can do better than that! We do the best we can, miss, but we can't promise anything. I've been in this shit for too long. Damn it! I stand up and pound my fists against a concrete wall, breaking them! The police merely look at me and go back to their own businesses, drinking coffee and eating donuts. Mummy, get that cat off your face. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a puss on my face. What the hell is wrong with that cop? I've been at this shift for 11 hours. Come to think of it, that's not so bad. Compared to actual real cops. You can tell that Decker has never worked a day as a cop. And he still understands that the line you said is complete bullshit. Is he seriously insinuating that my brother is? Ming, calm down. We find Vince, one way or another, dead or alive. What? Forget I said that. Of course we will. Somehow. Somehow. Listen, calm down. This visual novel is not that serious. There's got to be a way to. Listen, we can't solve this if you just walk around like that. Oh? Right. Right. Sorry. Of course. We'll find him, Min. Somehow. But how? How will we find him? Like Rosa said, we'll find a way. Probably an option's gonna come up and you're gonna click on it. Nine! We can't! We can't, Landis! Nine, 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 nine! We can't. Just please. No! My brother disappeared. 
It is all because of me! I start crying again, with tears flowing freely down my butt cheeks. They're pretty, pretty big cheer tears. Min, it's a cold night, and Vince is somewhere out there. And it's because of me! Lumina, calm the fuck down. It's a visual novel. It's not that serious. No, this was all my fault! Just, just calm down. No! And just suddenly pushes his hands against the table and stands up. Bitte bergonein, bergein, wer ich nicht finden können, wenn du in Panik. We're all taken aback at this. Sure, we hear he's been speaking to us in bits and pieces of his language, but Lance almost never talks to us purely using his native tongue unless he's extremely upset. Which is, uh, I, I guess, right now. I'm sorry. Da 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 da. Whoa! Guys, I understood none of that. I assume it's something along the lines of we'll find Vince, though. Oh, of course, uh. Yeah! Aha! Uh -huh, and that's a yes! That much I know! That's right. See? At least I know a few th things. Oh, you too. Ha! Oh, I'd love to have their mood right now, to be happy and worry-free, only having to worry about my best friend's child missing. Well, son, not little brother. It's weird. I haven't had a little brother that's, like, younger than 30 since I was younger than 30. But I can't! My brother. For now. Where are you going to leave to? This is kind of important detail. Well, fuck it. Let's go out and fucking look for it. Fuck it. I have to leave and get my thoughts sorted out. Ah, fuck this. You're going to get your thoughts sorted out alone. Great. I silently towards the exit of the precinct, my head bowed. Lumi, where are you going? Hey, Lumina. Ah, I'm going for a walk. Thanks for all the support, guys. I really appreciate it. I guess I'll... I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, Rissa. Let us... Good night. Da 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 Just let her lads you probably need some peace. What a bitch. I'm worried. da 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 Me too. And I'm back to the streets, back to the cold, foggy night. It's a few days before Christmas. Why did this have to happen? Why at this time? Of all people, why fix why me? I mean, there's the other six kids, but fuck them. This one's important. Why us? I sit at the side of the road, crying my eyes out again. I don't mind the cold, damp air seeping through my bones. Vince was right. I'm lucky it's not as cold out yet. But I guess I'm not lucky enough. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel something heavy being wrapped around me. <laughs> it's a giant tortilla. The d <laughs> it's like Attack on Titan, except they actually are the ones coming over the wall are Mexicans. <laughs> huh? Which one was Jake again? Ah, uh, he was the heartthrob, right? Don't remove it. You need it. I glance up to see a familiar face looking down at me. I don't if it's from you. I take a hold of the jacket and plan to throw it away from me, but Jake suddenly sits down next to me and fixes the piece of clothing around my back. There. Better. I just glare at it, unable to say anything back. The warmth from his jacket does make me feel a lot better somehow. Maybe it's just a sudden nearness to me that I like. Vibrate? Oh, it's a Pokemon Go. Why are you vibrating? Wanna tell me what the problem is? Sure, why hell? Fuck it. I, if, I thought you were gonna go out and look for your brother, not sit there and fucking cry, so f shit. Take a deep breath, willing myself to continue. Instead, I just begin sobbing again. Let's <laughs> fuck this shit. Hey, hey, you don't need to force yourself if you don't want to. Oh! 
That's not Rapey Jake here to be the good guy. I'll be here to listen to you even if it takes all night, so no rush. My tears stop falling as I look up at the raven-haired boy beside me. Hmm. I stare at him blankly, surprised at the words he just said. Hey, I'm not so heartless. That's what you think. You sure look like it. Heh. <laughs> Why do you hate me so much anyway? Da 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 da. It was just written that way, I don't know. I don't hate you. Yeah, you do. No. Then how come you never say hi to me or anything? Why don't you just smile, bitch? <laughs> Tear off the mouse pad. Da 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 da. Did I break your heart or something? <laughs> da da da. The nerve. I looked down at my cooled hands. Memories of middle school rushed back to my mind. There I was crushing on the biggest heartthrob in the neighborhood. Jake. Oh. Until that day. Dot, 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 dot. That day. There he was, breaking all the girls' hearts wherever he went. Including mine. I was just kidding. Heck yeah, you were. Don't you ladies love humorous guys? But you're not humorous. Exactly. Huh? What? I didn't get that. That doesn't make any sense. To my surprise, he laughs. A cool, bitter laughter that rivals in the chilly weather of the night. It's not supposed to. Because it doesn't. What? What were you talking about again? Not to me, at least. So you don't like being... liked? It's not that. I mean, who doesn't like being liked? Nobody, right? But, with me... Well... Never mind, it's... confusing. da 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 Tara. I'll just leave you up here for now, okay? <laughs> He's got that right. Is that an internal thought? Because you said it out loud. And besides, I thought you were supposed to be the problematic one here. Ugh, don't use that word. Say it in any way you want. It's a problem, right? Use that word. That's a the fucking problematic. You, you, you sound a wishy washy. If you're gonna say it's a problem, say it's a problem. If it's not a problem, then it's not a problem. Don't fucking say problematic. Saying things that aren't problems are problems, except you're not saying the problems, you're saying the problematic. And you make it sound the, pro the problems when you don't have to prove that it's a problem in order to say it's a problem. So suck it. Say fucking chicken. So take it out any way that you want, as long as you don't hurt yourself. If you wanna punch me, go ahead. I can take it. I'm a man. Wouldn't that hurt you? Without waiting for a reply, I ball my fist and pounded his heart back to his upper arm. He winces in pain, his right eye tightly close. What? Ow. Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I thought you were gonna say no. And... I was actually gonna say yeah, but I can handle it, though. You kind of beat me to the answer. Sorry, Jake. It's just that I needed to vent since... My brother, Vincent, he... he... he disappeared! At the mention of my brother's name, I couldn't help but cry once again! Suddenly I feel Jake's arm around my shoulders. I seriously hope you don't think I'm hitting on you because I'm not. <laughs> don't worry, I'll let that slide this time. Jeez, women. What if your brother just spent the night at a friend's house? You got to escape from women like you. I hate women. Women are bad. Women, 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 women. That was really insensitive of you to say that. Then again, if you can cook and clean the house like women, 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 women. Uh, sorry. I was just trying to make you laugh. I rolled my eyes. This is futile attempts at making me laugh. He's not a clown. I don't like him. Thank you for that. For being insensitive? No. For trying to make me laugh. Cheesy as it might be to say this, I kinda needed the comfort. I won't be able to find my brother tonight, and I know that! But I won't give up. 
I'll find Vincent, I swear. Crying my eyes out on the street alone hasn't been working, though. Yeah, and we're back home by Christmas, so you can eat Christmas dinner together. Yeah. I smile as he smiles back at We spend a few more moments seated like that together on this patch of ground underneath a lamppost in the middle of the night. And then we both stand up and go our different paths. I guess this Jake Buckley is different from the one I knew in middle school. Taller, more facial hair, bigger cock. And I'm liking this new side of him. Hmm. I immediately lie down the moment I get home. I feel so drained and my eyes are so heavy. I'm practically begging for rest. I let sleep take over my body. A long night. But my troubles are just starting. Darkness. I can't sleep. Christmas songs are blaring through my neighbor's radio. Fucking insensitive asshole. Oh, what a Christmas to have the blues. So seriously, we can't do this. I can't do this. No way. Please come on for Christmas. Of course, I'll be happy Christmas once again. Might as well sleep. Vince? Please come home for Christmas. I wake up to the sound of chirping birds. Dying. <laughs> I should have flown south. What are they thinking? Today is a sunny day, a big contrast to the chilly weather brought about by the winter season. Say, winter even though technically never, ever snows here in this cool little town, except for those flurries we saw in all the scenes earlier. Sigh. Suddenly, memories of yesterday rush to my mind. Vince! Oh shit, I totally forgot my little brother was kidnapped. I throw open Vince's door expecting to see his frowning face still stirring in his bed. You're too noisy, Mimi. You'd probably be telling me right now. Vincey! Vincey! I glance around our house filled with snow globes and Christmas decors. My heart is like lead and I can't help but feel bitter. Even the prettiest snow globes mean nothing to a lonely heart. Dot dot dot. I better get ready, though. Today's another long day. I have to find some clues to my brother's whereabouts. I hurriedly brush my teeth and dress up for the day. Get in the floss. Mouthwash. Okay. Still, I'm not skipping breakfast, even if zombies were to attack this place. Like they always say, breakfast is the most important. Dang. I'm gonna have some Vincent, some Vincent Vincent. Oh man. But to be honest, I feel like a zombie myself. Emotionless. Just shuffling through life. I feel empty. Despite having eaten two omelets and three slices of bacon, bacon, bacon. Who wouldn't? You could just see the empty chair where your noisy younger brother always sat in the morning. <laughs> I wake my way. Make my way towards the front door, breathing deeply before pushing it open. The cool air greets my skin. I must go back inside and see all the Christmas decors around. It hurts me, but anything that reminds me of Christmas reminds me of Vincent. I take a step back, closing the door in front of me. My mind is just swirling with emotions. Don't know what to do. I could answer my phone. I stare at it. There, what should I do? There. Answer the phone. Oh, they hung up already. Uh, I'm, I'm... Oh well. Sorry, dudes. Click. Hello. You now it's click. What about call started? I'm coming over. Risa, what? Huh? Was fast. Risa, what are you? She holds up a stack of papers in front of me. Well, I'm your best friend, and I want to help you find your brother. And last night, since I left pretty early anyway, I printed some stuff here. She gives me one of the flyers, and I see that it's a missing child poster with Vince's face on it. Oh, Risa. She might 
plan is, I'm going to either hand these out to people, or just post them somewhere on the street. How does that sound? Dot dot dot. Oh. Rissa? Really? Thank you. I can't say anything else. Hey, hey, don't cry. It's not like I'm doing something heroic here. Vincy may be such a pest sometimes, but I still love that little kid. Oh, you? I immediately give her up, unable to hold back my tears anymore. Why do you look so pissed off whenever you get hugged? There, there. Don't worry, okay? We'll find him. Besides, who knows if we're just being paranoid because of those cases on TV and he's actually having fun out there somewhere? Sniff, sniff! Well, I hope so. Don't worry about it, okay? It'll be fine, I swear. We'll find him soon. And who knows? Maybe someone who saw him will respond to those flyers. Thank you, Riss. That means a lot to me. That's okay, Lou. Really. What are friends for? Well, I didn't think they were performing search parties. Ha <laughs> ha! Not quite, but close. Just do whatever you want today, okay? Like, ask around or go back to the authorities in case there are new leads? Yeah, you really should do those, Min. Or if you want to go swimming in the middle of winter, then be my guest. I will object. Silly. Thanks. Quit thanking me. It's the least I could do. Plus, I really want to go to the Christmas Bazaar. I heard they're selling some cool outfits for this season. Oh, that's great news, I guess? I know, isn't it just fab? But I can't go there without you, so... Don't worry, I'll go with you. Of course, and we'll make that little brat... I, I mean, your brother, come along too. <laughs> Alright. Bye! Bye. Rissa really cheered me up. Even though we do have our misunderstandings sometimes, I'm lucky she's my best friend. Why did I say that out loud? Ah, uh, so let's see. How should I start this day? Fucking ask around. Fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police. Yo, yo, fuck the police. Fuck, fuck, fuck the police, you fucker. It's possible there are people who witnessed Vincy's disappearance. If the police are going to just give up on this, then I won't. It's not that they're giving up, it's that they're doing their job their way, and they got a lot of other shit to do. It's not one whole police station moving for your brother as much as that would be helpful. Hammer. It's okay. If you got lost, I go to the police. And if they said that they you know, can't be bothered to find a stray black cat. Did I go looking for your damn self? Yes, I would. I'd run through the streets, I'd run through the night, I would stop sleeping, I'd eat as little as possible to just survive. Because I, whenever I'm upset, I lose my appetite anyway. I don't know how this bitch can eat several apples and slices of bacon. Like, seriously, I couldn't do that. I'd be so fucking, so fucking sad with you, Bob. I'd have to find you fast as possible. I form a search party. We go in separate directions. Look for any clue. <sighs> Kitty girl again. <sighs> I should probably check for clues and other leads. I walk towards one of the nearby apartments, knocking on the front first door. See. Um, bonjour? Yes? I... I was wondering if you noticed anything strange yesterday. Strange? Strange how? My brother Vince he has been missing since last night, so I was wondering if... Oh, no, another missing child. I'm sorry, my dear, but can't help you. Have a good day. Just great. I take a deep breath. A misty fog forms outside my mouth as I exhale into the cold air. If I knew you were just going to go door to door and ask people if they kidnapped your younger brother, I'd have told you to go to the police. I can still see the trees and the plants blooming as usual. Fitz, I hope you're somewhere nice and warm now. Where 
where are you, Vincent? Someone suddenly pats me on the back. Hey. I turn around to see a familiar face yet again. What do you want? Need some help. I don't want to bother you. You're not okay with help. You need all the help you can get. Believe me. You're the best help. My help. No one helps better than I can. Right. You really do. Hey, Lumina. You look really worn out. After all that sleeping and eating you've done. That's because I didn't bother fixing myself up this morning. Oh, you skipped out on the makeup. Oh. Such sacrifices you've made. Do you think I'd bother to do that after what happened? Well, you stuffed your face and took a nap. Da da da. You're still beautiful, though. Da 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 da. Shut up. But I'll help you. Do whatever you want. And I want to help you. Is that all right? Da 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 da. Well, at least he's trying something. You can send him other to other doors to ask, like, have him ask the lady if she saw anything about Vincent. Fine. You're asking around about your brother? Yes. So far, no progress. Hey, we can't give up. It's way too soon. Come on, let's go. He asked around the neighborhood, but are unable to come up with new leads. Nobody saw a thing, thing. Or so they say. I'd hate to think that they're just trying to avoid being involved. What hurts me is that I know for myself if these people had been me, I probably wouldn't have helped either. I'm such a bitch! It's a fact of life, I think. We always say in the back of our minds other people would do that, so we don't bother to help. But the more people who witness a crime, the less chance there is of somebody calling the authorities. It's called the bystander effect, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know about calling the authorities, but the less chance of any individual popping up and doing something. Now, I think it also has to do with TV, just people train themselves to just sit and watch shit. Because, I don't know, I'm a gamer, and I don't like to sit and watch shit. I like to fucking help, if possible. And to be honest, if I wasn't the one who had a missing brother, I'd do the same thing as those people. It's because you're a cunt. Which is nothing! Why are we stopping? The sun changed. I've been walking around for two hours, living on my back hurts. You're tired. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Maybe it's just you. Huh, <laughs> me? That tired is not in my vocabulary. You... I just don't get tired. I, I am silently contemplating to take a rest or not. Fuck it. Okay then, you need it. Yeah. We enter a nice little cafe near the neighborhood. I actually didn't want to come inside. <laughs> I wouldn't want to come inside either. There'd be a lot of Christmas decors, that's for sure. I can't bear to think of little Vincy again. But it's really cold outside, and even though I wouldn't really mind the chilly winds, I'm worried for Jake. So we go in. Okay, so I'm ordering two bowls of beef burgundy, burgundy, French beef stuff and baguettes to go with it. Is that all right with you? I nod. And you want some coffee? Sure. Alright. He calls for a waiter and points to the menu. That French beef stuff. Two bowls of French beef stuff, two baguettes, a cup of coffee. Creamy? Okay, a cup of green tea, please. Green tea. How amusing. You drink green tea. Uh, yeah. It was my mother's favorite. Was? I mean... It used to be her favorite, as far as I know. When I was younger, that was her favorite drink. And I was never allowed. Now... She lets you? No. She's not here to see us. Anyway. She's... Uh, abroad, working. And those broads working. Da 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 da. A 
live with my father. He's a nice guy. And a rich guy, it appears, to think that James had a beautiful car of his own ever since we were 16. And you? You haven't told me much about yourself, aside from the fact that your brother... We try to relax here, you know. We will find my brother. I know it. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Can I get to know about you more? There's nothing about me that you should know. Nothing at all. Da -da -da. I have a birthmark on my left butt cheek. I'm a huge geek. And a huge fan of foreign culture. Uh-huh. So you hang out with that Lance kid often, so... Um, yeah, Lance is half German. He even teaches me German sometimes. So French isn't enough for you. It's not like that. It's just that everybody here speaks French, but German. I shake my head. I'm really fond of that language, so... Huh, I see. I actually admire that kid's hair. Lucky. Huh, yeah, he has nice hair. I guess. Ha, huh, so it's established. You like Landon's hair. Landis, but yeah. Sorry, Landis. <sighs> but! What about you? <sighs> I already told you about me. I remember you from school. You had been my classmate for, what, three, four years? Six to be exact. Surprised? I just... I didn't notice too many people. <coughs> <coughs> it's okay, Tara. I'm not dying. Aww. Oh. Kitty. Why is this... Hold my hand up to your head like that. I, I need to reach the mouse. <laughs> uh, only the pretty girls? Only the boys. Mm. Da 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 da. Jake Buckley, are you? No, I'm not gay, if that's what you were thinking. It's too bad. It's too bad. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being gay. Front show is gay. He's like one of the nicest persons I know. And we didn't even include him in this visual novel. But Hey, I can't hate gay people. I have a gay friend. I know, yeah, he's nice. And he wants to be a beauty queen someday. Ooh. What I'm saying is, it's only girls that I like, okay? Sure. It's true. Uh-huh. But I don't like being chased around by girls wherever I go. Look, who does anyway? I don't know, you? Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Don't you watch television, television, television? Doesn't everybody watch television, television? Let's watch some television. <laughs> television? Why? Jake is the best dude. All bad boys like girls chasing them. He chuckles softly, waving a hand at me. Stereotypical. I'm not even a bad boy. Raven hair, dark eyes, tall, athletic body. Uh-huh. All checks for the bad boy checklist. It's a stereotype. You're a racist. To be honest, this is a different Jake Buckley than I than the one I knew before. The one I liked before. Then why do you seem that way? Who knows? Maybe it's your perception of me that should change. Da 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 da. He's right, I guess. We all look at him as a bad boy, a heartbreak. Rainism. A campus heartthrob. Did anyone, even as dozens of fangirls, ever try to get to know him? As in, really know him? How he feels at the back of your throat? Or did they just stand back and watch his tall, handsome boy who lived his life and make up their assumptions about him based on what they could see? Who knows? You done? Uh, yeah, I've done monologuing. Why? You should go, so we can ask more people. Right. It'll be fine, okay? 
Yeah. He calls for the waiter again, asking for the bill. I take out my wallet intending to ask how much my share of the food is, but he shakes his head at me. Suddenly he hands the money to the waiter. You didn't need to pay for me. I can pay for myself. It's all right. It's the first time I ate out with somebody in a long time. And it's my first time eating out with you. Da 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 da. You're lucky I'm not dyslexic. You know, I wish we'd done this before, Vince. I'll oh, forget it. His expression goes serious all of a sudden. Let me know. We'll find your brother. Okay. We may not be close friends, and you may not trust me yet, but I promise I'll do the best I can to get Vincent back. I'll get that baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Baby back. I'll get that baby back. Da -da 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 -da. Thank you. <coughs> oh, I've been talking like this for a while, but I want to finish this for Christmas. It's a Christmas video. You gotta do something special. It's over an hour long visual novel. We haven't done one of those in a long time. We stand up and make our way back to the row of brick buildings on our street. Wow, it's a lot later than I thought. You sure you still want to go ask around tonight? If it's fine with you, then yes, please. Sure, it's fine, but just one more, okay? Thank you. He smiles at me, narrowing his eyes. So where do you want to start again? The mirror houses. It's possible that they actually witnessed something. They just don't want to get involved. Right. Point for that. So instead of asking for clues and suspicious things, we should instead ask for a specific harmless sound and stuff. Like what? You know, they saw a young boy, uh, matching your brother for scripture, of course, walking outside yesterday. What if they just didn't notice? They decided he was taken at night or he wasn't taken by force. Well, that could either be because he really wasn't getting up or because he knew who took him. And if they didn't no did notice? Then we got something fishy in the air. What do you think? It's... It's plausible. Well, have you got any better ideas? No. Then we'll try that out. We head towards the next street. It's also the main street, so it's a lot busier than ours. Perhaps somebody could recognize Vincey there. Knocking on the door, Jake winks at me. I roll my eyes at him, but deep inside I'm hoping for the best. A middle-aged man opens the door. He looks gaunt and his skin taut over his face. Seriously, he's creeping me out. What do you want? He says this in a rough, gruff voice. I glance at Jake. He looks as calm and collected as always. Bonjour, good sir. I'm wondering if you noticed a blonde-haired kid walking around here yesterday. Non! Jake gives me a look. Are you pretty sure, sir? Are you insulting me, boy? Are you saying that my memory's bad? What? What? No, sir. It was a pleasure talking to you. Huh! We hurriedly walk away from the doorway. Uh, I don't know, there was actually psychos in this place. Hey, don't talk to take the word psychos lightly, alright? Yeah. Sorry. Da 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 So, what now? We egg his car. I'll try the next house tomorrow, maybe. Fine. We find ourselves slowly turning around and leave the block when something catches our attention. Wait a minute, dears! A high-pitched, wrinkly voice calls out from inside the house. My companion turns to me, whispering softly. It's probably an old woman. Uh-huh. Why, hello there, sweeties! You want a cookie? Grandma baked a whole ton of them! Jake glances at me, turns to the old woman, and smiles. Hello, man. Oh, thanks for the cookies, but we just had our dinner, so we're pretty full. Oh, is that so? Yeah. She looks like a nice old woman of around 60 years of age. I don't know why Jake looks so tense. I whisper to him. What are you waiting for? Ask. Um. Ma'am, did you notice a blonde-haired boy walking around here yesterday? For a second, I thought I saw a strange glint in the elderly woman's eyes. I'm the light. 
I've seen plenty of blonde head boys in my life. Let's get a specify, sweetie. Uh, nothing, ma'am. It's just that my friend was walking around here yesterday and he dropped his bookmark. What? Oh! It's really valid. This is, well, not exactly valid, but it's a school project, so it's really important. It's like, what the hell? Oh, I see a side idea, but I didn't notice anything like that. Oh, it's too bad our friend is to make a new project. Sorry for the trouble, ma'am. It's okay if you need any help. Just knock on the door, all right? All right, thank you. Thank you. The moment the door closed, I grabbed Jake's hand and pulled him down the steps with me. What's wrong with you, Jake? That woman could have known something. You see the way she was looking at us? Yeah, she knows something, that's for sure. But I'm not sure if we want her to know even more. What? What are you saying? She's more suspicious than this whole thing, okay? What the heck? I thought you said you wanted to help me find my brother. I do. I really do. But come on, I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. You're risking valuable information. Lumina. Please. No! Lumina. I turn away from Jake, planning to leave him alone when my eyes meet another person's green orbs. A child. A green-eyed, brown-haired boy with a dirty face and ragged clothes. Just listen to him. He knows what he's doing. What? What are you talking about? The woman there. She's creepy. Dot, 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 dot. She is. How come? She keeps asking me and the other kids to come inside her house. We tell her no, none, But she keeps insisting. That's... There was this one time she tried to pull one of her friends inside with her. She said there were lots of brownies inside, and we love brownies. But my friend didn't want, and she pulled him harder until a man showed up and asked what she's doing. That's really terrible. Did the man do anything else? Yeah, the creepy old woman looked scared, and she just said that she was trying to show the child something. Then she let go, and my friend ran back to us in a hurry. Is she? We don't know much about her, miss. But you better avoid her. She doesn't seem safe. Boy, can we ask you something? We oui. Are you a street child? We oui are not, mademoiselle. Yes and no? How could that be? Well, then. I spent most of my days and nights outside with my friends. But I have a family, and a home, way over there. He points to some unseen place to the right across the streets. You always stay here in this area? Yes, sir. This is where me and my friends sleep at night. Even during winter? Some winter nights, sir. But when it gets too cold, some shops let us sleep in. Oh, but last night, did you sleep here? We. Oui. Did you notice... The blonde-haired boy. Pretty tall one. He's ten years old. The one wearing the duck shirt. With his cherubim hair. Cherubim? Ah, oh, his curls. Yes, yes, that one. I remember seeing him, miss. Why? Did anything happen? How come you remember? I remember because... Something happened, but... Dot, dot, dot. I forgot. No way. I'm sorry, miss. I can't remember. So close. Oh, my good boy, please, please think hard. What happened? I. I don't remember much, miss. I apologize. I was playing with my friends. Ah! <laughs> Lumina, calm down. Boy, can we get back to you tomorrow? Ask you about what happened. Do you think you can remember by then? My pleasure, sir. And I'll ask for my friends, too, if they remember something. Alright. As we turn around to walk, Jake suddenly faces the boy. Oh, uh, would you like some food, by the way? Deep inside, I feel sad and bitter at the same time. Oh, that smells good. Has Vincent eaten already? How is he doing right now? If he was indeed abducted, is he crying, fighting? I miss my brother. Da -da 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 -da. As this child. This dark-haired child reminds me of my little Vincent. 
I smile at the boy, hoping that Vincent is all right. Okay, here you go then. Shake hands and left over against the child. Gosh, merci beaucoup. I place my hand on the boy's head, patting gently. You fucking bread. You're welcome, boy. I downloaded it, people were like, oh, it's nice and short. No. I don't know what they think is a short visual novel. It's been a long day. I'm at least glad we found some leads to this case. Jake and I walk home together again, stopping in front of my house. Da 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 da. You look pretty happy. Why don't you want me to be happy? I do, and I want you to know that we, we will get your brother back. Yeah. But of course. Uh, but of course, the battle is far from over. Da 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 da. I know. I'm just glad for some. some progress at least. I've been clicking a lot. Still, it's confusing. How come? We have an idea about what the cupboard may be. But it was that easy. And how come the police never found her? Or never pointed at her in any in any least? Maybe because she's old. Fuck old people. And like you said earlier, sweet. A sweet old lady, huh? That's a cool disguise. Huh. She looked creepy to me in any case. But what if she's not the culprit? I mean, why the heck would she steal all those kids? Not to mention those teens. Who knows? Maybe Vincent's an isolated case. It doesn't have to be related to the other disappearances, you know. But what if it is? Jake, I just wanted a nice Christmas. A nice Christmas with my family. My brother. I... I planned on putting mistletoe decors around the house, you know. And now I can't even think of Christmas because... Christmas is meant to be spent with your family. So why? I can even have a family to spend it with. Didn't you say that your father? I do live with my father, but he handles a big company, so... I'm always left alone. A big company? That explains the expensive car, then. Neither of my parents has time to spend with me, anyway. da 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 It's been a long time since I last celebrated Christmas with a complete family. Oh, Jake. Yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. I like being alone. No, you don't. No, you don't! If you did, you wouldn't have approached me last night, and you wouldn't have helped me with these. No, 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 no. It would be so much better if you could spend Christmas with your family. But, if you have nowhere to go on Christmas night, our house is open for you. Really? Thanks. And... We can eat together, right? With Vincent. Yeah, with Vince. He smiles at me once more, and I smile back. Just like tonight. But this time, I know my smile to him. It's different. Last night, it was a smile of gratitude. Tonight, I know... I don't know what I'm... Have you ever heard of the saying, feelings that come back are feelings that never went away? I'm starting to think it's true. I really do want the D. Oh, if only Vince was around. Sigh. I shut my eyes, slowly laying down in my bed. <laughs> I can see the stars from my bedroom window. It's beautiful. Knows. Maybe somewhere out there, Vincent is looking at the same stars. It's too shiny. Yep, definitely. Da, 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 da. Good night. Another day, another chance to look for clues. I glance at the clock at my bedside table. 10.15. It's late. But I guess I got a good night's sleep. I groggily get up and go to the bathroom to wash my face. I still feel a bit sleepy. At the same time, I want to go out. I want to search for clues again. I let the warm water cascade down my body, my body, my body. 
feels good to take a bath. Last night was so hectic that I wasn't able to bathe. Usually I shower or bathe twice a day. I like wasting water that way. I'm a clean freak when it comes to my body. Vince always teases me about it too. Unlike me, a shower is enough for him about the, at the start of his day. Sheesh. Oh, who could be calling me at this time of day? At 10.15, he already showered. It's probably like noon. I glance at the contact number before answering my phone. Ah, yes, Mom. I freeze on the spot, my heart pounding wildly in my chest. What will I tell her? Should I tell her the truth? Should I hold, hide it for now? Phone keeps ringing, I stare at it like it's the bane of my existence. I'm surprised you didn't tell her yet. Honestly, why the fuck didn't you call her and be like, By the way, Mom, Vincent, kind of missing. I don't want to answer it. I didn't fear that my own voice would betray me. However, if I don't pick up by now, my parents will surely think something is wrong. Shake me, I press the button and put the phone in my ear. Hello, me now. Mom. What took you so long to answer? My breath catches my, my throat. Thankfully, she, Felicia speaks again before I could. Anyway, how are you and Vincent? If you all the blood, my blood run from my face. Fine. Are you enjoying your vacation? Yes, I'm having the time of my life. Well, that's good. Have fun, squirts. I smile sadly, hearing my father's cheerful voice. My mom laughs, and I can almost imagine her gratefully hitting my dad. I wish we could have some vacation time with you two. Mom, I wish I could tell you what's really happening right now. But your dad and I are simply so busy, dear. I tell her what could possibly go wrong. Take a deep breath and intend to tell her about Mrs. Disappearance. Take care of your brother for me, okay? Mom? Your dad and I just have too many problems to worry about, huh? Did you say something, dear? Words die on my lips. Melting away like ice cream on a sunny day. I want to trouble them even more. Yes, Mom. I won't let anything happen to Vincent. I promise. Thank you, dear. I know we can always count on you. I hear the relief in her voice. And it breaks my heart knowing I just lied to my own mother. Anyway, we have to get going now. Just say hi to Vincent for us, okay? He's probably... No, uh, He's probably still asleep, hon. Oh, right. Don't let him stay up too late, Lumi. Now, your brother always sleeps in late. It's like noon. When the child sleep in, he's on vacation. My parents laugh together again while my heart shatters into a million pieces. Bye now, dear. We'll get back from before Christmas, okay? Hugs and kisses now. Bye. Bye, Mom. Dad. Click. I put the phone down sadly, feeling all glum and heavy inside. If Decker was given control, he would have forced me to tell my mother and father about the disappearance. As he knows that's really not something to keep a fucking secret. <sighs> to be honest, I feel like I let my parents down by letting this happen to my brother. Well, it's because you did. Well, then again, you left. You weren't home at the time. But at the same time, he was ten. You really, you know, there are. You could be like, hey, lock the door, don't go out, you know, that kind of stuff. Play your video games. You seem to like that. Why the fuck was he rocking around outside, talking to weird old ladies and going, like, yeah, sure, brownies sound nice. I also feel guilty for not telling them what's really happening. Vince. Keep inside. I'm still hoping that Vince simply visited a friend, had a sleepover, and a freaking long one of that, and will return today. I still don't understand it, though. Gathered in, we gathered yesterday, it seems like there's no real motive for anyone to steal my brother, let alone have a dozen other children. They're from ages 5 to 16. What do you expect? What could be the possible reason for the kidnapping? Ransom from the That's some fucked up shit. I'd say someone who just has a really creepy insanity, and they want a nice Christmas with a big family, and they don't have a big family, so they kidnap people because they're crazy. And, uh, let's just say Ransom. That's the one where he's in the best position. Tear it. Tear it off my face. Merry Christmas off my face. Off my face. <sighs> Seems like the kind of thought Landis would have. Great. I doubt it, though. 
not even rich. I heard somebody kidnap my brother just to get some money. It doesn't make any sense. All this thinking is making me depressed. To be honest, I want to imagine that Vince is somewhere nice. Somewhere he can play video games. The real world is less pretty. And I don't want to get caught up in a fantasy world. I need to get back to reality. And reality calls for a mission to find my brother. I'm interrupted from my soliloquy, soliloquy by somebody knocking on my door. I wonder who it is. Open the door. I see a certain raven-haired guy. Jake. What's up? I think I got some new leads on this case. I can't help but smile. This case? You treat it like we're actually in love. New leads. Seriously? Yeah. The child from yesterday? You remember him, right? Uh-huh. The street child from the opposite road. Yeah, I passed by them this morning, and he got his friends. I think they're ready to tell us something. Oh, why are you telling me this only now? Uh, in case you're not aware of it, I've been standing here for over an hour. Seriously? Yeah, I've been knocking every quarter of it to half hour. You should have knocked louder, you know. I was already pounding on the door. I got kind of kind of got tired. And you should have seen the look people gave me. Embarrassing. I think a bomb could have dropped in front of your house and you wouldn't even stir. Hey, I'm not such a heavy sleeper. You wish. Whatever. I stick my tongue out at him and he laughs. That makes it so everyone in this game sticks their tongue out, like, constantly. Hearing that sound, I feel it tugging at the corner of my lips. He looks at me again. He kind of grins, showing his pearly whites. Now I understand why those neighborhood girls became his fat girl. He really does have such a lovely smile. Hey, are we to Luma Lumina? Earth to Lumina, can you hear me? Huh, what? Don't space out on me, woman! Am I really that handsome? Gods, Jake, just move, let's go! Yeah, that's what I keep telling you. Whoa, it's a building. Oof. Stairs. We land on a wet spot on the ground. Ouch. Suddenly I realize how awkward our position is. He's got his hands on my hips, I'm down on my knees, and he's got a crotch in my butt. I suddenly sit on Jake's lap, and he's sprawled over his. My face also inches away from his. How did we end up in this position? They didn't even have to, they, were able, they weren't even able to draw it, it was so weird. Is this even possible? You should be more careful, you know. Water is. Uh, Pretty slippery when wet. <laughs> you do know how wrong that sentence is, don't you? Nope. Da -da 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 -da. Stop smiling like that. Hey, you're smiling too, isn't that unfair? Jake! We walk away laughing. As we look behind us to see if we had dropped anything on the ground, though. I noticed something. A mistletoe. Jake may have not have noticed it, but I have sitting underneath the mistletoe the entire time. The thing with mistletoes is, it's just like life. You never know when it's going to creep up on you. Steal your child. And uh, you never know when you're going to get messages, messages in the middle of your recording. You're trying to be like, hey, I'm, I'm a professional. And it takes you by surprise. Fucks you in the ass. It's up to you to do fight. Fight or fight. But when it comes to mistletoes, the question is to kiss or not to kiss. Here we are. You can see the young brown haired boy with two other children. One's a pretty blonde haired girl with big blue eyes. He has a dark eyed young boy with a black ponytail. Oh, hello there, mister. These are Fleur and Adrian. <clears throat> uh. Oh, hello. These are your friends. Yeah. Oh, 
the sea. By the way, what's your name, child? Louis, sir. Oh, Louis. We. Oui. Um, Louis, can you tell us now what you and your friends saw the other night? I only know bits and pieces, miss, but Flua and Edrin are going to help me. Oh, so what is it that you want to look almost? I can't take my mother's I kneel down on the ground, the max the girl's eye level. <laughs> Terry girl. Come on, Terry. Show the people that you would like sitting right there. Have you seen my brother? He's a tall ten-year-old with dark blonde hair and green eyes. Oh! The one with the cherubim hair, Flora. Oh! Yes, miss! I do remember seeing him. We, oui, we, oui, the last night, the angel! The angel? Oh, the little turn. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> yes. Who oh, is your brother? He's very frivolous, just like you. Oh, thank you. I told him. Shut up, Jake. I muttered to him, nudging his, ri nudging his ribs. Oh, okay, okay. The other night, Mr. The Chairman, before he we went out around, what, uh, what time was that again? <laughs> Six o'clock. Yeah, something like that. He stayed outside for a while. Like, about a half hour, miss. And then, and then, and then, I was it, so I wasn't able to see what happened next. Da 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 da. I made him stand up, though. Probably because he waited for so long. Or maybe it's because. Uh, I know why he stood out to be Louis. Why? Because the old woman from the house went out and talked to him. Oh, yeah, that was around the time I became. I became it, right? Yep. We... The old woman talked to him then. Yeah, they talked for a while. The old brother was getting shaking his head and he smiling. They looked pretty happy anyway. Oh god. Auto correct. <laughs> Auto correct makes it hard. <laughs> ah. They look pretty happy anyway. Oh. I turn to Jake. So, the creepy old woman. Is she? Da da da. Maybe. And you should have called some reinforcements. What if she tried forcing that boy to. I can't. The other kids at all. I had all hidden. And you weren't here, so you didn't see what happened. I know. Oh, if only I knew. Adrian, Lou, after that, what happened? Did Vince go with the old woman? They look at each other and shake their heads. I didn't see. I was still it. Da 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 da. Suddenly, the blonde head girl speaks up. He was like an angel. The two boys glance at her, and they look sheepishly at us. Sorry, Mrs. Flo is only five years old. I'm almost six! Flo says this, holding up her two hands, counting up to six. Four? Yeah, but stop talking about angels. Louis turns to us and sighs. She saw angel figures in the window of a toy store a few days ago, and she wouldn't stop talking about them. And she keeps insisting that your brother was an angel. Hi, so the kids are being turned into angels to be stuck on Christmas trees and have the Christmas tree shoved up the butt. That's... that's a terrible fate. Ah, damn it. Just let me send the message of shit. Maybe. Not Mandy. Maybe. Many. Fuck it. M-A-Y-B E-Y Oh, that just is like M-A-Y-B-E-Y Mayberry Fuck it No, M-A-Y-B-E You're okay, Cordy Okay, I can spell I'm getting, getting, so, getting so fucking confused by this I, I forget how to spell even worse 
Lindsay keeps insisting that your brother was an angel. Yeah. He is, he is, with all the clothes and the hair and the eyes and the body. Something feels so wrong here. Kate looks at me and I know that he's trying to put his finger on something as well. I smile again at the children. So, my brother looked like an angel. Can you tell us what else you saw? Did she have seen something? Was she with you the other night? Yeah, she, but she, but she was playing alone. Did you see any fluid? She could have, you know, after all, she was in a corner making little houses with her sticks. What corner? That corner. He pointed to a line of hedges with thick bushes and soil instead of concrete. Jake nodded to himself. She could have stayed hidden there the whole time. Yes, mister. Oh, I was hiding there because I was making a pretty house. Did you see anything? I saw the angel. Oh, it's a cherubim. I forgot. And the scary woman talked to him, and he was saying no. Oh, she was probably giving him cookies again. Those cookies taste bad because they don't taste like cookies. And he probably didn't want them because maybe he knew that the cookies didn't taste like cookies and were bad tasting. Fleur, slow down. Oh, no, wrong one. Fleur, slow down. Oh, but it was just talking about the bad cookie. And despite the tension, I hear Jake chuckle. I glance at him. Wait a minute. I stand up and head to where Jake was standing, only a few steps away from me. What's wrong? You kneeling there? You look like a mom talking to her child after a hard day in school. It's funny, isn't it? Terry, please get away from the mouse. Yeah. I give him a playful punch in the shoulder for like the eighth time. He's got a pretty big bruise there now. It hurts like hell. One day when we get children, I'll be the one laughing my head off at you. Jake suddenly turns to a dark shade of red. I realize the implication of what I just said. We're gonna fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, I'm not saying that it's it's not necessarily you and me. It could be your, your children, my children, but with other people, of course. I mean... Oh, gosh, never mind. Okay, there we go, just send an exclamation point, there we go, I can send this, it's, it's amazing. I hurriedly go back to where I was kneeling a while ago. Surprisingly, my knees don't feel hurt or tired. It was like for four seconds. I'm sorry, Fleur, what were you saying again? About the cur... About the angel, Fleur. Oh, yeah, I but I saw an angel last night. Who was pretty like one of the real person, and that's just a surprise then. Yeah, he was like an angel. How come? Yes. I really don't know how to say it. Please just try for me. Please, Flo. He was an angel. I turned up and up and up and down and down. What? An angel during the. Suddenly my phone rings. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's some immersive gameplay. Um, wait for a while. Hello, who's this? Is this Miss Lumina Duval? This is she? Why? This is the police. We've got leads concerning your case. Please head over here immediately. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you! Who is that? The police. They have some new leads. Thank the gods. Huh. Come on, let's go. Yes. Let's leave the kids. Oh, wait. And I have to go now, so we won't be able to buy you food, but... He takes out his wallet, rummaging for bills. You can just buy yourself food, okay? The three look at one another and slowly shake their heads. We can't accept money, mister. We'd like to have some food, but... Not money. We spend it all on booze. Eh? It doesn't feel right. We help you because we know we can help you. You don't have to pay us. Jake ruffles Louie's hair gently. Okay, next time we're gonna bring you some delicious food, okay? Three children smile happily at us. And then shoot each other. I don't know. Ah, why are you still vibrating? What you do? My Pokemon needs some attention. I don't care. I need the Pokecoins. I need to get that Pokemon's asses kicked.
Okay. Thanks, Miss Mister. Gosh, you're such a lovely couple. Da 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 da. That scene led nowhere. Uh, gotta go. Yeah. We wave goodbye to the children as we head towards the police station. It's been 48 hours since your brother was missing, and you still haven't had any contact with him. Since there's been a kidnap for ransom case, we would have received a note by this time. Of course, there are exceptions, but in this case, just be thankful it isn't the norm. You said there's a development in the case. What's the development? Well, it's not directly related, but we thought you'd be interested in it. Why? A six-year-old girl who was found missing last week just turned up today. What? That's... No, no. This wasn't exactly good news, miss. Mr. Uh, you see the little girl, she's in critical condition. She was found with multiple bodily injuries and head trauma. That's horrible. Whoever did this should rot in jail for the rest of their life. If only we could find the culprit. But it's hard. We've been on his tail, his tail for weeks. There is one strange thing about the missing girl, though. She was dressed in a white hospital gown. Da 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 da. I feel like my heart. Heart had just dropped onto my stomach. I'm dizzy. Like I want to vomit. I thank the officers and stand up to walk away, but. Careful, lady. He supports me with one arm around my shoulders, his other hand holding mine. I feel tired. Okay, I just want to rest. Come on, I'll accompany you to your home house. As we walk outside the precinct and still stay in the precinct at the same time, I hear him muttering under his breath, What a bitch. I know I should have brought my car. Jake, it's okay. I can walk. You sure? Yep. See? Try it. Let's go. Let go of me. He lets go of my hand, although his arm still hovers around my shoulders. See? I almost dropped to the ground, my leg giving way. That's what's wrong with me. See, you're not in good condition. And then it hits me. <laughs> His dick right in my face. What, what time is it? Huh? Time. Uh, half past four. Why? Oh gosh. I'm such an idiot. Da -da 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 -da. I still haven't eaten anything since. since yesterday. What? Don't tell me your last meal was those baguettes. Mm, yeah, it is. Or was. I'm not good with tense. Oh, man. Come on, let's go eat. What? But? No buts. Let's go. Jake pulls me, still groggy and dizzy, to a nearby restaurant that looks exactly the same. He buys me so much food that I feel literally full already. And to my surprise, he tells me he's paying for me. How's that a surprise? He did that last time. Again. He paid for me twice in a row now. It's quite embarrassing, huh? We sit in silence. Or rather, I do. But every now and then, Jake would look up and push food towards me. Eat, eat! Taste this. It's awesome. But what about this one? It's also delight. I love this dish. A group of girls pass by us, and I hear them whispering. Oh, God, I'm just remembering now. I'm remembering. <laughs> Went to, uh... Went to Golden Corral for the first time in a long time with my fiance uh, and her mother. And uh, her mother and her got their food. And I went and I got my food. And my food was piled high. And I, I hadn't eaten so long before I went there. And I just fucking got uh, at the plate. I had like fish rice that the fish was in, and I got some chicken with that, and I got some crab, and I got, oh god, what else did I get? Uh, oh yeah, I got uh, the green bean casserole, and then I got pizza, and then I got another pizza, and then I got the refried beans, and then I got, god, what else was that? There's something. Something delicious. But I got so much. And then I got cheesesteak, and then I got uh, pumpkin pie, and then I got fudge, and then I got a Rice Krispie treat, and then I got one of those chocolate fountain strawberries. 
I ate absolutely every last bit of what I got. I didn't waste anything. And my stomach was in such pain for the rest of the day. <laughs> oh, that's a good... At least we didn't, you know... We got the money's worth. Oh, my fiancé is telling me. That's really stupid of me. <laughs> a group of girls pass by us and I hear them whisper. Oh, look at her. She's so lucky. That girl's boyfriend is so hot. They sit at the table opposite ours and continue with their not so quiet conversation. I can't believe Jake cannot hear this. <laughs> he is so adorable. Ah, uh, I wish he was my boyfriend. <laughs> Keep wishing, ladies. He's mine. Damn. <laughs> what in the world did I just think? I thought you said that. We're going down the wrong pipe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it went down the wrong pipe. Britain. Yeah, drink some water. Oh, look at the way he attends to her. She is so lucky. And he's not even that. And she's not even that pretty. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, are you all right? I glare at him, shooting daggers with my eyes. Stop holding your laughter in. It might come out of your bottom part. <laughs> oh, Lumina. You're really adorable. Whatever. Suddenly, he goes into serious mode. I really feel guilty for what I've been thinking, but... What do you think if Vincent didn't go missing? Would we have done this? Dot, 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 dot. That's a valid question. Vincent didn't go missing. Let's even talk to each other. Well, considering you bumped into him before your brother went missing, there's still a chance, so yeah. Take a deep breath. I mean this honestly. A crush on Jake Buckley for so many years. Who am I to say there's no chance of friendship between us? I think we would. I flinch, except anticipating his reply. I think I'm way too cocky, you're assuming. To my surprise and amazement, he smiles. I'm glad. Nah. I never thought a girl could be as nice as you are. As nice as I am? I lash back at you whenever I can. You can look at the bruise on your arm. I think I've broken something. I'm absolutely horrible to you. What makes you think I'm nice? It's true that I never had any interest in you before. Ouch. Dot, 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 dot. Wait, before? That's not like I did don't notice you, especially since we're neighbors. Oh, right. I forget that my building is in between Jake's and Lennis's. Yeah, there's a pretty fucking good chance I get to talk to him. Frankly, it's sad that your brother still has to disappear before we can come close like this. Da, 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 da. Is that what it is to you? That he still had to disappear? No, that's... That's not what I meant. And I thought you actually cared. I do, okay? I do. I wouldn't have helped if I didn't care. I think I'm doing this just because... To become close to you... Me! <laughs> feel a twinge of embarrassment. Close to you because I'm helping you. It's not the other way around. But if that's what you think, then okay. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm helped because that night you looked so sad. And I thought, hey, it's Christmas. There's no reason anyone should feel sad. That's what I thought to myself. But I wanted to prove myself wrong. I wanted to 
proof that maybe, even if we didn't become close friends because of the circumstances, maybe we could still become friends. The cat would stop standing in front of everything I'm trying to say. Tara. <laughs> but, what you think is, I thought, finally, I'd found a real friend. He really thought. Oh god, I'm such an idiot! My mistake. He stands up, heads to the waiter, and pays the bill there himself. I feel myself burning by the eyes of all the people around me. The murmuring has gotten louder, but this time I know what they're saying about me is not good. Not good at all. Not like that me not being attractive part. That was awesome compared to the shit they're saying now. But I don't care. Large strides, Jake quickly walks out of the cafe. I quicken my steps to catch up to him. Jake, please, I'm, I'm sorry. Jake. What now, Luna? Don't I fit your checklist for bad boys anymore? Oh, Jake, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just, I thought, I appreciate all your help and help. I know you're helping me find my brother. Da, 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 da. As I shouldn't even say me all right. But for the friendship part, I didn't want to seem assuming and... Look, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm a fool and I'm foolish enough to risk losing a friend. So, please, forgive me. I'm saying this upset that you doubt me. Da, 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 da. I know. I shouldn't have. And I won't anymore. I promise. Really? Really, really. Okay. Such a stereotypical bad boy, Jake is such a nice guy. That's not good either. <laughs> and I'm lucky to have a friend like him. Come on, I'll take you home. You don't mind? Wow. Hey, don't you use sarcasm on me. I don't know you can even understand sarcasm. Heck yeah! I'm smart like that. Oh yeah? And you should have been smart enough to remember that we live almost next door to each other, so of course I don't mind walking you home. Oops. Yeah. It's just the flurries, the flakes of the snow that you never get. I'm still worried about Vince. Thoughts and worries still occupy my mind. But I know. As long as I have Jake with me. After I found my brother, of course, my Christmas won't be so bad after all. Oh, holy night, the stars are bright shining. Oh, night divine, when Christ was born. Oh, night divine. It's another day! Really lucky I woke up early today. At least I'll have a lot more time to search for clues. It's been three days. Vince. Where are you? I immediately get dressed up and head out my front door. <coughs> yeah, she's heading out the door. <coughs> That's how you pronounce door. <coughs> door? What are you talking about? <coughs> that, that can't be right. Are you sure? Are you sure, Tara? What are you looking at me like I'm stupid for? Uh, well, anyway, she goes out the door. I'm waking Jake to waking up Jake today, whether he likes it or not. I'll wake him up by sucking his whistles. I'm about to knock when Jake suddenly opens the door. Couldn't wait to see me. You wish. Yeah. I thought he was still asleep. I'm moving at 8 in the morning, what do you think? Da 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 da. I tend to sleep until about 2 in the afternoon. What should I think? I wake up at 5 every morning, that's what. Why the heck would you wake up at 5? Oh. Well. Well? Well, I might be the heir to my father's company, so. CEOs can't be late for meetings. Can't they? I don't know, I'm not a CEO. 
Better be safe, though. Oh, right. So what's our plan for today? Da 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 da. Hey. Huh? What's wrong? Am I being too much of a bird on you? On you? Well, as I say, I have different plans for winter vacation. Sorry. Uh, at least I'm doing something productive. My original plan was to lounge around the house and play video games. Awesome! Basically, have fun before going to uni next year. W w wait You love video games. That's so geeky, Jake. I never knew you were into video games. Hey. I'm a huge fan of video games too, and so is Vince. So plays like our bonding moments. Except when it's the opening of this visual novel, and it's what I used to talk down about. Really? You like video games? Yeah, totally. Okay. Name every Halo game. Damn it! Geeky, no? Nope. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, not for others, though. But for who cares, anyway? But who cares, any? But who cares, anyway? <laughs> I don't. Me neither. Look, um, when we find Vince, could you pretty please play with him? Oh, do you play Last Fantasy? That's a single-player game, you idiot. Yeah, I love that. It's one of my favorites. Great, what about Battlecraft and FPS games? So I guess... I'm talking about Warcraft or Battlefront, I'm not sure which. And you just, you can't even, like, say, like... Call of Job. I guess that, it, it, I guess I understand. Why you didn't make the Call of Duty. <laughs> like, Battlecraft at least sounds... Yeah. Last Fantasy is a terrible name, but it's at least it's, you know, eh. But, Call of Job. It, no, just FPS games, fuck it. Those two, and sometimes even... Okay, never mind, I guess Battlecraft is, like, Battlefront or something, because it's not an MMORPG. Even MMORPGs. Just sometimes. Like, console games are better. Loser! You. You don't seem the type. To play console games. Uh, you, yeah, you, you, you're fucking rich. Why don't you got an awesome fucking gaming PC? Yeah, it's just video games in general. What type do I seem like? At least three. Why three? <laughs> I think you know me pretty well. Da, 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 da. You seem like... Judging from his height. The type who plays basketball? The type who likes hanging out with boys at... Uh, wherever. Right. And the type. The type who. Da 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 da. The type who. I can't say it. The type who can suck his own dick. Why not? I just can't. Is it bad? Not for that. I clear my throat. <coughs> I was hoping if you could help me look for some leads again today. Alright. I'll pretend like I didn't notice anything. Good. Um, yeah, so, now, now what? Search for leads, like you said. Sorry, I've been dilly-dallying for way too long, huh? I don't want you to think that I'm not serious about searching for your brother. No, it's alright. Really? I owe you so much already for helping me on my search and also all that food. Keeping me happy while we're at it. Huh, I'm awesome like that. Sheesh. Hey, come on. Let's go to the kids. Wait. You got some food in you? Huh? Where? Silly woman. I meant, do you have any food right now? As in, on hand? No. Why? We did promise the kids we'd bring them something today. Oh, right. Let's go buy them something. Let's. When's this gonna fucking end? We walk towards a group of children who are currently playing on the street. Oh! Oh, good morning, Miss Beaster! Ah! Uh. Good morning! The best smile on his face, Jake, reveals a bag of baguettes to the children. 
still fucking bread. You said you'd get the delicious food. You lie. There you go. These are delicious. You lie. Flo immediately reaches out of the bag, her big eyes twinkling. Oh, wow, thank you so much, mister. The two older boys grin and peeks into the bag. The two older boy grins and peeks. The two big good you clap. Good old baguettes. Ah, I miss these. Thank you, mister. A pleasure. Miss, mister, Flora still keep, keeps talking about that angel. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Ah, uh, yes, please. Flora? Ah, uh, you want me to tell you about the angel? Yes, Flora. The angel with the cherub hair and the green eyes. Yes. Oh, I saw him the other night. Hold on. Yesterday I noticed this too. Huh? Oh. Da da da. What? When we were questioning Flora yesterday, she said she saw Vincent last night. How is that possible if he disappeared three days ago? She couldn't have seen him two days ago, could she? Dot, 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 dot. Unless... Vince, he's somewhere near here. You can't be sure. Fleur, are you certain you saw my brother the other night and not three nights ago? Uh, we, we saw a boy. I saw a child. Uh -huh. That boy with terrible hair is the angel that you keep talking about, Fleur. Oh, he is? We, oui, Fleur. Freaky. Da 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 da. Vincent was singing. And Floyd White Gown. How could. Oh, yes, Mr. I saw him behind me. But I didn't go for him because. The little girl suddenly falls silent, much to our surprise. What's wrong, Fleur? What are you telling us? Uh, uh, I don't know what I saw. Fleur, tell us. He was right behind me. She points to one of the buildings across the room. I feel a chill on my spine as I realize whose house that is. No way. Dot dot dot. He was right behind the old woman's house. Yes. But the white gown, the singing. What could. Wait. What did you say earlier? God, is the old woman sticking Christmas trees up the kids' butts? No. About the boy with the cherub and hair. Remember that? Oh, the boy that saw last night. Oh, God. Da da da. Floor. Last night. You, you saw him again last night? Yes. The old woman. She was holding a perky thing. What? It reminds me of a real thing you saw on TV once I watched TV. <coughs> Homeless girls in France watch TV. <coughs> a needle thingy. White gown. <coughs> then it hits me. Jake suddenly moves closer, lowering his voice to a whisper. By any chance, could that have been a, a syringe? Oh, Tara, calm your cat ass down. <coughs> <sighs> Okay, this is getting interesting. Vince was wearing a hospital gown and Flora saw him. And he wasn't singing. He was trying to scream. My poor brother. But that's it. We can report it to the police. We don't have any evidence, but... We don't have any evidence. Who in the police is going to believe a bunch of street children anyway? We have to try. How will we explain what Flora saw? We... We just do it, okay? There's a small alley at the back where my brother probably was when Floor saw him. From the proper angle, this side part seems to be a little bit visible from across the road. The side the road is not so... so wide anyway. Dot dot. I take a deep breath. Alright. Let's go. We thank the kids and start heading towards the police station. We can't issue a warrant of arrest without enough evidence, miss. Uh, we might not have any evidence, but you can search for those, right? We've given you a lead. Hey, hey, calm down. We're not sure of the validity of your statements, miss. That's why I'm coming to you for help. It's your job, isn't it? 
we're doing our jobs, Miss, and it's our job too. If your son disappeared, would you not look for clues as well? No, no, no. Why, of course I would. And if you found Evan even just a teeny tiny, would you not run after it? Not or not. Even if it seemed unlikely, even if you're not certain of the validity, would you not do everything in your power just to be sure? Just to get your son back? I'm awfully sorry, sir, but I honestly think he would. All of us would, right? I would! I would too. Alright, so we'll check out the house tonight. Search for clues. And hopefully, if your young ones are correct, we can get enough time to continue this case. Really? Thank you. No, miss. Thank you for knocking some sense into us. I really thought the chances were too slim. But hey, it's Christmas. Let's work extra hard. To say nothing is impossible should be double for this time of year. Thanks, officers. Merry Christmas. And to you too, miss. I really don't know what got into me then. After all, it's their job, and I know they're doing their best. Guess I'm getting too hyped up over this new development! Oh, Vince, when I get you back, I'm going to give you a power hug you can't refuse! Hey, except I can't sleep because the motherfucking bastards keep calling me in the middle of the night talking about, oh, the warranty on your car has expired. Bitches, I don't have a car. Leave me alone. Uh, what time is it? Seven? Can I find some quality so early? Hello. Mr. Duval, this is the police. The police? Yes, yes, is she? What is it? We have found evidence regarding your brother's disappearance. Please come over to the station now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Click. Yes. Ow. What was that? Ow. Oh. I hurriedly make my way to the police station. Yes, yeah, still dripping wet and tummy mumbling in hunger. Dial Jake's number as I run, and the moment he picks up, I tell him all about the good news. He replies that he will be on his way. Can't wait. <laughs> as police at the police station, we are told the evidence they found was a syringe in a piece of cloth. Not just any cloth, though, but a bloody one. The blood belongs to one of the missing children that turned up two days ago. It was found in the garbage bin outside the woman's house. Because of that, the authorities are given a search warrant for the old woman's home. Oh yeah, they can get the stuff out of the garbage, because that's salvage of laws. Ha! The officer in charge, which turns out to be Officer Lauren, Danny, and Gabriel's father, briefs us about the plan. The plan is to stay out outside the house for a while, check out for any suspicious activity, and then ask the old woman questions. Or the old woman's questions. Or something like that. I seriously don't know how they're going to do it, since they don't exactly work on the force. We wait. And wait. And wait. One man in civil clothing approaches the house and goes around it for a few minutes. And suddenly, the man signals for the other guys to move closer and start giving, going up the steps, knocking on the door. Open the door. This is the police. You have to open this door, madam. We have a search warrant. My head is pounding loudly. Knocks on the door. Hello. I can't wait to see you, Vince. If you don't open this door, madam, we'll have no choice but to break it down. Three. One. Two. Three. Bam! The door crack. The door crashes to the ground and the officers immediately enter the house. I hurry inside the house despite Jake's warning. The house is eerily quiet, reminding me of that fateful night when I found out my brother was missing. Oh God, please be here, please be here. One policeman notices me and he scolds me for coming inside. Hey kid, what are you doing in here? What if some crazy old woman takes you hostage? Wait, please, I need to. You suddenly hear a loud thump coming from upstairs, making my heart beat faster. We found the boy. Vince. Notify the others now. We found the missing boy here. We might find the other children as well. I run up the stairs, skipping two or three steps at a time. Dare, get the fuck down. I can't believe they found Vincent. I make my way past the surprised officers, keeping my eye on the figure huddled in on the ground. Vincent! 
At the sound of my voice, my brother's head slowly lifts up to look at me. I can't help but cry and laugh at the same time as I kneel in front of him. He's deathly pale, his hands are tied, and he's got a piece of cloth around his mouth. I take out the gag and quickly release him from his binds. Oh, Vincy, my Vincy! To my surprise, he rolls his eyes at me and slowly frowns. You're way too noisy, Lumi. I'm tired. Back to the usual Vince. I couldn't help but pull him towards me for a big hug, kissing his cold forehead. Lumina. What? Oh, that's him talking. Oh, no, that's me talking. I'm just... I'm just glad you're safe. I was so worried about you. Lumi. Are you alright? Does anything hurt? Does anything hurt at all? Just tell me, okay? Vincy, oh Vincy, say something, please. Does your back hurt? Or maybe your hands? What's wrong? I'm here. You can tell me. To my surprise, or maybe not really, tears suddenly start flowing down my little brother's cheeks. Seeing him crying, I couldn't help but cry as well. Da da da. Sis. Shh. Sis is here, okay? I'm here. You're safe now, Vincent. Don't cry. I was scared. I knew you'd find me. It's just that... He starts crying even more, much to my surprise and concern. Sis, I'm sorry for kicking you out of our house the other day. I couldn't help but let out a chuckle at his words. Oh, you scared me? I thought it was something else. Sis, I missed you, sis, so much. I just hug him tightly in my arms, as if I would never let him go. If only I could, I definitely wouldn't let my brother go. No matter how many fight fights we have, he will always be my little brother, and I will always be his big sister. I'll always be here for him, no matter what. You don't know how much your sis missed you. You're safe now. I'll never let anything happen to you again. I promise. Officer Lovett asks someone to help my brother and me out the door as they continue the search. An ambulance comes and Jake and I hop in to bring Vince to the hospital. The people there said that Vince might be traumatized from the incident, as much kidnapped children, most kidnapped children are. I hope not, though. My brother's strong. If anything, I bet he even... He even thought of the whole thing as an adventure. So how are you feeling now, Vince? Great, I guess. Not traumatized or anything, little Vince. Sis, please tell your friend that I'm not little anymore. You heard him. Oh, fine. But you aren't traumatized or anything. Nah. It's creepy, though. She tried to force her cookies on me a couple of times. That must have been so hard for you to decline. So, so hard. I bet. So, sis, you gonna bake me some cookies, okay? You gonna bake me some cookies, okay? I'm starved. You weren't fed there? You can call ham and eggs for four days of pro proper nourishment. Uh, yeah. Ham and eggs, that's some good shit. I'll give you a nice meal when we get home. You said it. Thanks for everything, though. It's not just me. Jake helped out, too. Eh? Jake is in the neighborhood bad boy? Cool, he's here? Uh-huh. Nice to meet you, too. Wow! You helped my sister look for me? Something like that. You're awesome. Hey, hey. How come I don't get the awesome comment? It's life, sis. What? Vince, has anyone ever told you that you have so many similarities with your sister? No way. It's true. Really? Uh-huh. What, you don't want to become like me? Nah, I'm not like my sister. You little... She's a lot kinder, stronger, and better than I am. You little dot dot dot. Even though she's a pain in the butt sometimes. <laughs> hey! The police gives us the good news that the remaining children were also found hidden in different rooms, all bound and gagged. Most of them were in the same state as Vincent, found starving, 
in cold blood. Whoever did this should be punished severely. Unfortunately, the suspected culprit was never found in that house. She remains at large until now. That saddened us a lot. But at least the children are safe now. Including Vince. Hey, sis! Sis! Uh-huh. I wake up to my brother jumping on my bed. Stop, this is not how a ten-year-old acts. Well, when in the house, it's not just a ten-year-old. I'm not just a ten-year-old, I'm your brother. So I'm allowed to bug you. Vince, stop, I want to go back to sleep. Nuh-uh. Lumi, wake up. Sis? I toss the bed covers aside and face my brother. What? He grins lazily and pats my head. You're even uglier in the morning, sis. Shut up, Vincent. Haha, <laughs> your friends are downstairs, you dummy. What? I'm gonna go somewhere. Yay! What? Where? It's a surprise, so I won't tell you. But hurry up, I want to go ASAP. Are, are you sure about this? Sure, I'm sure. Why, don't you want to go? I ruffle his hair, pulling him closer to me. It's not that. I just want you to be okay. I'm okay, really. Are you sure? I know what happened these last few days must have been so painful for you. Nah, I actually had to go... I had you, uh, had you in my mind the entire time. I'm happy you came for me. I knew you would, sis. Really? Well, of course, if you didn't, Mom and Dad would probably kill you. Vince! I'm just kidding. Yeah, of course. My big sister never lets me down. Oh. Now, don't you give me a hug. I immediately pull him for a big embrace, making him stop mid-sentence. Hug. To my surprise, he puts his arms around me as well. Love you, sis. Love you more, baby bro. Heh. <laughs> da da da. Ah, uh, let me. I can't breathe, sis. Oh, I'm working too mushy. It's really gross. Oh, you. Better hurry up. He jumps down from my bed and rushes up the door. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to brush your teeth, sis. Your breath stinks. What? Vincent, you little. Jake, Risa, Vincent arrange a trip for the four of us. Courtesy of Jake's car. Shush. We didn't go straight there, though. Of course not. Tara, that's my face. It's for facials. I have a face so that my face can be used as a face. It's convenient. <laughs> we first went to the children across the road and introduced Vincent to them. At first, they all looked really surprised to see us visiting them again. Come to think, maybe these past few days have been stressful for the kids, what with all out questioning and stuff. Jake and I had probably worried them a lot, too. However, when we told us that we were here with Vince, their moods immediately lightened up. They looked really happy to meet him, especially with little Flo, who even wanted her angel to carry her. My brother was more than happy to oblige, especially when he found out that they were the witnesses to the case. He kept thanking them all for their help. I'm really grateful to him. Without these kids, I don't even want to think of what could have happened to my brother. I'll never forget about them. Ever. Vince even promised to come play with them sometimes. And for once, I think I'll actually let him out into the streets again. But not in the near future, I guess. After that nice meeting, we headed to the arcade. To my surprise, when we got there, Vince and Risa just waved goodbye to us. Enjoy, you two. Bye-bye. I was a bit shocked at this, but Jake only smiled. These three planned this all along, huh? Gosh! That left me with Jake right now alone in the car. Where are we going, Jake? You'll see. We parked the car near the restaurant where we had first eaten together. I think we might want to start again. Oh, you? We enter the cafe and luckily no one was seated at our old table. A waiter comes and directs us to the table. Same. 
Ah, uh, reservation Mr. Jake Buckley and Ms. Lamina Vile. Yes. Uh, yes. I returned to J I turned to Jake suspiciously. You plan? Suddenly, another waiter appears, uh, approaches us, handing me a bouquet of fresh flowers. Thank you. I turn to Jake again, blushing this time. You didn't have to. I wanted this to be more special than last time. Special. Well, of course, that one was special. Why? Because I was with you, silly. Da da da. It was wrong. Da da da. Why are you acting like this? Da da da. How come, when we were younger, you weren't like this? Why are you being like this now? Da da da. I wanted you to be like that before, and then now. To be like what? To be like that. To notice me as me. You've never noticed me before. Why now? Are we going to talk about this again? What? Let me guess. I don't fit your bad boy stereotype again. I look down in embarrassment. Look, Lumina, I don't believe in stereotypes. I'm forward thinking. You don't like me being like this, whatever that is. Tell me to stop it, and I would. Da da da. I don't want you to stop it, and that's the problem. What is? The problem is. I think I'm falling in love with you. Is. You know, take a deep breath. What if he doesn't like you like that? What if it's just another friendly date, worse, a normal date for him? What if he just generally takes women, surprises them? Taking them to the place they first really connected and gives them a bouquet of flowers at a reserved table. You don't know. What's with those other girls? Women. What? Oh, sorry. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm really happy to be here with you right now. So thank you. Well, I'm happy too waiting for something like this for so long. I haven't gotten laid in ages. And because I never settled before. Who knows? My heart beats faster and faster at his words. But Lumina, getting to know you is one of the best things that ever happened to me. Oh, my poor, poor heart, please slow down. I'm not dead. No, it's okay, Tara. I'm not dead. Don't fall so hard. You're gonna get hurt. Don't say that to every girl, other girl, do you? No, I don't. Don't worry, this is the first time I've said that line. What do you think of me, a line generator? N no, but close. Now that is an insult. You're really sure you're not sick? You look red. Red? What? What are you saying? But loving him is red. What the fuck's that supposed to mean? Red, red. That didn't help at all. I gulp. Something seriously wrong with me. I agree. No, I'm okay. I mean, yes, wait, no. Uh. He suddenly puts his palm against my forehead and I feel my heart beat even faster. You don't seem sick. What's wrong? Mm, he smells really good. I feel like to lie on the strong arms of his. Mm -hmm. Wait, what about what? <laughs> you really don't seem fine. But I trust you, so how's the food? Uh, hot. Hot? Huh. You're talking about the food or you're talking about me? You! Wait, what? Of course I'm talking about the food! <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. You okay there, Dutch? It's okay, Tara. So embarrassing! I seriously can't believe I managed to be so embarrassing for just a few hours' time. Thanks for the ride. No problem. I really had a great time riding you. I mean, riding with you. I mean... Uh, I am the most embarrassing girl in the whole world, aren't I? No, you're not. 
You seen the one who's got two heads? That's a hell of a double date there. That's me. What can I say? I sometimes fit the bad boy stereotype. Yes, I am. I bet you're so embarrassed to be around me right now, huh? Of course not. As a matter of fact, I'm really proud to be around you right now. I knew you would say that. Proud? Why proud? Because... I'd love to be around you all the time. Me? Uh, Why? So you could laugh at me whenever I mess up? You know it's messed up here? What do you think about me? Am I really such a horrible person? I know he's just kidding, but I still feel something pierce my heart! No. I'm sorry. I mean, I just... It's okay. Dot dot dot. Jake. Are you free to go to your house? To our house tomorrow morning? Uh, it's just a couple of friends over. Nothing too major, you know, like a Christmas get-together or something. You don't have to stay for long. I just, I'd love it if you could come. Tomorrow? Sure. See you then. Good night, Jake. By the way, with a wink, he points to himself. My real name is Jock, but I bet you knew that already, huh? Let's keep it a secret. <laughs> Did you a quick house shot? What an awesomely awesome person! So charming, so cute, so handsome, so nice and kind, so... <sighs> Why am I such an airhead whenever I'm around him? He hates me now, that's for sure. <laughs> but hey, it's Christmas tomorrow. Know what I'll but to do? Fuck! Christmas is such a wonderful time of year. Your child, your little brother gets kidnapped. You get you know, dragged around the whole town. The police get to ignore you. It's great. I'm glad to say that Vince is doing much better than we all expected and hoped. Right now, he and Jake are on a one-on-one -on -one battle in defense of the legends. I actually wanted to join them earlier, but Vince convinced me to start cooking for Christmas Eve. Besides, Mom and Dad are coming home tonight. I still don't know how to tell them about what happened these past few days, but I guess I'll manage. Chris is also dropping by later, but she can't stay long, she says. Oh well, it's Christmas. The time for families to stay together. I'm also trying to convince Jake to talk to his father tonight. Even the latter will be staying at his workplace. It's never too late to mend, a bro mend broken relationships, is what I believe. Leave it now. Are my cookies done yet? Not yet, Vincent. And I told you, don't just call me. I know, I know. Sis. Hey, Vince, you respond. Oh, no. Wait up! I roll my eyes as Vince runs past me. Back to the living room where they set up their laptops. By the way, sis. Will Jake be my future big brother? What? You're going out, right? I'd love to have a big brother like him. And I'd be really happy if he could be. Da 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 Merry Christmas! Oh wow, thank you. Oh wow, thanks for the cake, Rissa. No problem. I baked that just for you three. Mmm, it smells lovely, Marissa. Thanks. Swell. My pleasure. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Vince suddenly jumps up shouting. Hey, isn't today the finals of the game? What? I guess. You want to check it out? Yeah! He turns on the TV, holding the remote in one hand. To our surprise, he suddenly drops it to the floor. Sis. A six-year-old girl was reported missing this morning after walking from the store with her from the store with her friends. Witnesses say they last saw the child take talking to an elderly woman around sixty years of age. The girl and the old woman's whereabouts are still unknown. To my surprise, I accidentally dropped the glass bowl I was holding, shattering it into pieces. It's not over yet. Oh, wait a minute. Is it? 
Oh, the top line got a little cut off. This wasn't the perfect 16 by 9 window. I didn't realize that initially. Oops. Hello, Merry Christmas to you guys. So you got in Jake's ending, huh? Such a sweet boy. Hi, hi. Once you find all the good ends, you should check this game out again. Who knows? You might find something interesting. Ha 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 Ah! So yeah, that was the thing with mistletoes, and I saw on the Steam store page it said that it was really short and there was not much to it, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I just played for two and a half hours to do one ending, and you have to play through it multiple times to get different endings, and it ends on a cliffhanger, so you're kind of inspired to do that. But I'm not going to do that, because this is just a Christmas video. Damn. Well, if you want to check it out, it's free. And that's one reason I picked it up. Like, I'm broke as hell right now. Thanks, YouTube. And, uh, yeah, buying a game for Christmas is really not something that I could really do. So. <laughs> Merry Christmas, and until next time.